Harris here and today we are going to be flipping through the Practical Witches spell deck. So this is a little bit different than our standard deck flip through. These are cards that have spells on the back of them. So 100 spells for love, happiness, and success. This deck retails for $12.95 US and is published by Running Press. It's in a magnetic magnetically closed box with a pocket guide in the front. The cards themselves are actually in sort of a card top box. They are just a standard card stock, not too thick, but they do have this beautiful gold on their edges. The deck itself is divided out into different categories and the front of the card say what category the spell is. So this one is altar spells, then everyday spells, healing spells, house spells, love spells, money spells, and moon spells. And instead of flipping through every one of these 100 cards, what we will do is we'll go ahead and shuffle them, draw one, and discuss that. And then we will talk about the guidebook as well. So the cards are kind of the pocket size. And there are a lot of them. So you're probably going to want to um, keep them sorted by category. For today, we're not doing that. But I will obviously resort them post-recording. So we pulled house spells. Bowl of Plenty, House Magic. Giving an attitude of abundance lends a generosity of spirit that will ease your way through the world. Take a large green glass bowl and place it in the, on a hallway table or somewhere you pass by. Light a green candle beside it and chant three times. Verdant vessel full of grace. Bring goodwill and gifts to this place. This money will grow and grow. Abundance is for all, this I know. So mote it be. Each time you come home, empty your pockets or purse of change. Whenever the vessel fills, take half and treat yourself to a spirit-raising indulgence. Take the other half and give it to your favorite charity. Just like power, generosity of spirit grows and returns to you tenfold. So let's talk about the Practical Witch's Pocket Guide. So it talks you through the introduction a little bit about magic, the Practical Witches Toolkit, and it talks about different tools like Athames, a bowling, Book of Shadows, Broom, Cauldron, Magic Cord, Blessing Bowl, Wands, Charging your ritual tools with magic gives you kind of a ritual to do that with. How to set up your altar. So personally, I have my altars. I have a couple of different altars and I have them set up focused on certain things. So one is focused on the elements. One is focused on tarot and just kind of communing with deity. And the other is focused on more of like my magical tools. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in an altar tour. Then we talk about herbal healing and how to make those herbs work with your, your astrological sign. So I'm a Virgo, so almond, cypress, bergamot, mint, mace, moss, and patchouli. And then in the back here, it tells you it's designed by Amanda Richmond, illustrations by Mira Penny, and written by Kiradwin Greenlee. 
So I'm going to take a quick look through this and pull out any spells that I find interesting or that I would want to maybe incorporate into my practice or try out. that is for sure um but you know for 13 dollars, it's really inexpensive and interesting to maybe see if any of these are something that i would want to do so most of the time i do actually create my own spells but there's no harm in in trying out different things and this is just something a little bit different that i thought i would want to give a shot I do plan on flipping through a different spell deck this month, the Wikipedia spell deck, and we can see how that compares to this one. It is a little bit pricier. It's about $24, I think, um, but I'm definitely interested to see how it compares with this deck, and we can talk through that and see if maybe I'll get more use out of it. If you look at what I probably will use out of this deck, versus what it comes with, definitely not that many, really. So that is the Practical Witches spell deck. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this and spell decks in general. Do you write your own spells? Do you look for inspiration? Do you um, use books or um, do research online? Let me know your thoughts. And if you would like to pick this deck up for yourself, the information on how to do that and where to get it will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching.